My name is Stephen Tipton. I'm the recruiting coordinator for American Medical Response, East Tennessee region. Today we're going to look at our beautiful operations center here for our ambulance services here in Knox County. Let's go take a tour. We're now inside our ambulance operations center. This is our front lobby as soon as people come through the door. So here in Knoxville, we run about around 80,000 calls per year and we deploy over 40 ambulances in a 24 hour period, staffed with EMTs and paramedics. We run everything from 911 and interfacility transport. So we're just inside from our lobby. We're gonna go take a look at our regional offices area, like our conference room, and let's go. So in this area, we house our regional director, our Knoxville operations manager, our human resources, recruiting. This is our executive conference room where county mayors and county leaders will come and meet with our operations personnel. And they'll discuss everything from emergency disaster planning to uh, outbreaks in, for viruses and future plans that we have in Knox County or counties around us. So now we're just down the hall from our regional offices. We're extremely lucky here in Knox County because we have multiple classrooms available to us. This is our largest classroom that we have. This classroom alone can hold groups of up to 125 people. We, have, we use this classroom for continuing education with our current employees. We also house our EMT school program here and we allow other agencies to come in and use our classroom to do their training as well. In addition to our larger classroom, we also house smaller classrooms for smaller groups of employees or students or for uh, leaderships around the, around the county to have smaller conference rooms areas for them to do their discussions with our leaders or with our employees. We're here in our ambulance bay here in Knox County. So this is where we uh, prep our ambulances and stock our ambulances before they get deployed into the Knox County area to help our citizens. So here at our Knoxville Operations Center, we hire a number of vehicle stock technicians. Those vehicle stock technicians do everything from stock our ambulances, clean our ambulances, and get them prepared. So then when the crews come in to work, they're able to be on straight on the road immediately to help people that are in need. In this area, we have everything from our first line drugs that we're gonna use to our equipment like radios and uh, EPCR tablets. And then we have extra uh, stretcher parts in case we need them, extra monitors, extra cleaning supplies, and we have a great deal of all sorts of medical equipment that we can use on our ambulances in this room. So we've showed you all the amazing things that we here have to offer in Knox County. So let's trans transition over to Lee Cohenhauer, our clinical education specialist, for a look at what's inside one of our ambulances. Hi guys, my name is Lee Cohenhauer. I'm the clinical education specialist for AMR in Knoxville take you a tour on the truck real quick and show you what we do. So inside the back of our truck, you can see we've got a lot of equipment. So to start out with, we have our stretcher that we transport our patients on. And on the stretcher, we have our ALS bag and our monitor. On our monitor, we can monitor heart rhythms, oxygen, stuff like that on our patients. And in our bag, we basically have a little bit of everything in our cabinet. So we carry medications, um, stuff for if, if anybody needs, um, has any trauma, needs any splinting, anything like that. Um, equipment to help people breathe if they're having trouble with that. Um, and then whenever you go in the truck, you can see that everything that we have in this bag, we have more of in these cabinets. Um, over here, we have our stair chair. If a patient can't walk and we can't get this stretcher up the stairs, 
we can go ahead and put them on that chair and uh, kind of roll it down the stairs and not have to carry them. Um, you can see on the side right here, we've got some more equipment. We've got um, equipment up in this cabinet to give uh, patients oxygen if they need help breathing. We've got a lot of spare equipment right here, anything from a patient that's vomiting, any, um, any injuries that need to be treated. Um, we carry oxygen on our stretcher. And also, um, we have some extra oxygen back here. We have bigger bottles that we don't carry with us. Um, on the side right here, we have more cabinets. Uh, this one in particular has medications and IV supplies if anybody needs anything um, given intravenously. Um, and then the front of the truck is kind of where our crews live. Um, do you want to take them up front? Okay, so. Um, up front, we have uh, control of all of our lights and sirens that go on in the ambulance. We've got a computer up there, so whenever a crew gets dispatched to a call, they get information as far as address, um, anything that 911 is able to get. They get that information on their computer before they get there, as well as a map to kind of help them get to the call faster. Um, they can also communicate with their dispatcher via radio up front, and they also have a radio in the back that's connected to the same system. Um, in addition to the oxygen on their stretcher, they do have these uh, ports right here that attach to that main oxygen so they don't run out of this small bottle too quickly. Hey guys, so now we're in the front of the truck. Um, so just to kind of show you some stuff that's up here, um, in addition to the regular stuff you would have in an ambulance, um, our crews have an, what we call an MDT, where they actually get information on the call, the address, where they're going, who they're going to pick up, and they can communicate with their dispatcher this way. They can also communicate with their dispatcher with other trucks through this radio system. They also have one in the back. Um, and then they have their whole kind of control board right here where they can control their lights, their sirens, um, and all of the other lights on the outside of the truck, especially when they're working at night. So in addition to keeping equipment on the inside of the truck, we also have equipment on the outside of the truck. So when you look at our outer cabinets, you can open it up. You can see we have our oxygen as well as some um, spinal mobilization equipment if we need it. Um, that won't fit in the cabinets on the inside. And then moving down over here, we've got another cabinet. And this cabinet is where we store all of our spine boards. So if we have a wreck or a fall or somebody that might have a spinal injury, we, uh, we, we would put them on a board. And trucks are laid out a little bit different on this one this is just another access to the compartment that carries all of the IV supplies if we need quick access on a scene 